Hey guys, this is Ken Marlin. I'm the Windows Champ, and I'm going to take you guys through the Windows 10 IoT Roadmap for 2019. Now what you'll find is if you search the web and try to actually find a Windows uh, Roadmap, specifically a Windows 10 Roadmap, it's actually very difficult to find anything at all. So I actually took the time to actually put together this Roadmap, and I wanted to share it with you guys, and hopefully it'll be helpful uh, giving you an overview of the different service channels, as well as the different builds, um, the different code names, um, and uh, give you a better idea of when it comes to making a choice for the Windows 10 family. So technically today we're, we're actually running Windows 16, but Microsoft decided to say, hey, we're going to call it Windows 10 forever. But underneath that name, Windows 10, it actually has a different build version. And from that, they developed what they call Windows as a service, which is basically a couple of different service channels that manage how Windows is updated. So in our IoT space for embedded appliances, the trick there is that we offer a long-term service channel option, which is called LTSC. And then we also offer the SAC or semi-annual channel. Now, because Windows 10 Home and Windows 10 Pro fall underneath the SAC channel, technically the roadmap that goes across the top is also the same one that is for Home and Pro. Uh, but Today, I'm going to specifically be talking about Windows 10 IoT, but just know that Windows 10 Pro falls into the, the, to the, uh, the roadmap across the top here. And we'll start with that. We'll start with the Enterprise SAC. Um, and you can see as Windows 10 was launched in July of 2015, and the original build, if you were to actually run the WinVer command, is build 10240. It was codenamed Threshold 1. That's where you see the TH1 underneath there. Um, and then as we move across, um, basically, it, it, it eventually they started offering a new build, a new uh, feature release every six months, but um, it wasn't. Uh, it was a little bit more time than that on the early releases. So November of 2015, build 1511 came out. The build numbers are the year and the month of release. So that was 2015 November, and that was code name Threshold 2. Uh, then in July of 2016. Build 1607, which was Redstone 1, also known as the Windows 10 Anniversary Edition. It was released one year after the original release of Windows 10. Thus, the public name was the Anniversary Edition, but the code name was Redstone 1. And then you can see as we go across Redstone 2, Redstone 3, Redstone 4, and the most recent release, which was back in uh, on October 1st, so, uh, as well as September, was Build 1809 and that was Redstone 5. Um, as we move into March of 2019, it will be build 1903, and they're switching the code names up. Not as cool. It will be 19H1 for the first half of 2019, followed uh, later in September um, in, in the fall, and it will be called 19H2 code name, and it will be build 1909. And it will continue like that forever. That's why um, I actually wrote a blog called Windows 10 Forever because it, they're going to call it Windows 10. There won't ever be a Windows 11, at least um, not that we're aware of. Um, but it, you can see it gets it's tricky trying to keep track of all those new builds. And a new build actually includes new features, not just security patches, but actual uh, what they call feature updates, new features in the release. So there's two kinds of updates, a feature update and a quality update. Feature update is obviously new features. Quality updates are your patches, so hot fixes, security, that type of thing. So as we look at the um, addition in the middle there, which is Windows 10 IoT Enterprise LTSC, it was initially called LTSB for long-term service branch, and they changed the name to long-term service channel. The SAC above, I'll mention that really quick, it used to be called CBB, or Current Branch for Business. They renamed it to Semi-Annual Channel because every six months or semi-annually, they'll release a new feature build. So back to the LTSC, down the middle, super simple, only three editions. The original release, Threshold 1, back in July of 2015, they called it LTSB 2015 in the blue there. Um, and then one year later, on the anniversary edition, they came out with the build 1607 redstone one and with um, those these products you actually get 10 years of support this roadmap chart here does not show you the support this shows you sort of the time frame of when the new builds were, were released 
Um, and then most recently we had build 1809, which they call Windows 10 IoT Enterprise LTSC 2019. Um, that came out, it was released October 1st, and uh, that's the LTSC 2019. We don't expect another LTSC for two or three more years later. The plan is to release it every two or three years whenever Microsoft decides enough features have been rolled in. But you get all of those features from all those builds above rolled in there. Um, it, it, the previous build, so build 1607 has all the previous builds in it, but it doesn't have the 1703 and 1709. And then along the bottom, we have Windows 10 IoT Core, which is the, technically a royalty-free product, uh, but it was if you go with the free version, you're you're pretty much stuck with the same SAC. Uh, track so you're going to get new builds versions every six months um, until this latest release with redstone 5 they're offering something called iot core services which is a service option to allow you to control the updates for your iot core products um, those are the iot core is a, a gui -less, a headless royalty free version of windows 10 that only runs windows 10 applications and only supports a minimum um, subset of hardware but if you want to control the, those devices, manage them, manage the updates, there is a new IoT Core Services product for you. So with that, I'm going to end this video here. Uh, watch for my other videos on the actual service channels where I'll dig into the actual dates around support for the service channels. Um, and uh, we'll go from there. Also, I will put down a link to my blog called Windows 10 Forever. And also, I have a blog on running Windows Update, how you should update devices. And I'll put both of those links down in the below. I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you soon.